Today I'm going to show you how to install NVIDIA GeForce Now on your Steam Deck so you can play games like Star Wars Outlaws or any other unsupported games that won't normally run on your Steam Deck. In order to do this, you'll need to make a free GeForce Now account, which I'll link in the description, as well as a strong internet connection, and of course, your Steam Deck. I'll cover pricing and plans at the end, but for now, I recommend logging in and signing up on your computer, as it'll require you to sign into your NVIDIA account, as well as connect all your third-party game launchers like Epic Games, Ubisoft, Battle.net, Xbox, and Steam. Once you've done that, the first thing you need to do is put your Steam Deck into desktop mode. To do this, you're gonna hit the Steam button, scroll down to Power, and then select Switch to Desktop. Once you're in desktop mode, you should be able to use your right touchpad as a mouse. You'll also need to make sure you have a web browser installed. I recommend Google Chrome for this since it's the browser that NVIDIA recommends, but any browser should work just fine. Then search for NVIDIA GeForce Now. By the way, to open the keyboard, hit the Steam button and the X button at the same time. Once you've got it pulled up in your search engine, click the download link, scroll down to Gaming Handheld Devices, then under Steam Deck, click the Get Started link. When the pop-up comes up, hit Download. Once the file has downloaded, open your file manager, go to Downloads, then right-click the GeForce Now folder by hitting the left trigger, then select Extract Archive here. This will extract all the files and put them right here in your Downloads folder. Then open the new folder and double click the file GeForce Now underscore setup. When the pop-up comes up, click execute. Then on the next pop-up, click yes. What this essentially is, is a script that'll automatically ensure Google Chrome is downloaded and set up for controller input while also adding a shortcut for GeForce Now directly onto your SteamOS homepage. This is actually very similar to how it works on iOS as Nvidia has yet to make an official SteamOS compatible game or app, whereas on Windows, you can actually download GeForce Now as a standalone app. Either way, it works exactly the same. It's just a different way of getting there. Once the script has finished running, it'll give you a pop-up letting you know that you can now go back to game mode and find GeForce Now in your non-Steam Games tab. But before you jump back to game mode, if you'd like to spruce up the cover art, you can head to Steam Grid DB, search for GeForce Now, and download both a banner and a box art. To change it, all you need to do is open Steam, go to your library, scroll down until you see GeForce Now, right-click by using the left trigger, Manage, set custom artwork, then navigate to the box art image, which is the taller one, and set it. Then, if you actually click on GeForce Now while you're in Steam, you can right click the banner and set custom artwork and select the wider image you downloaded. This will just make it look a little nicer in your library as opposed to just a plain gray background. So, let's go ahead and jump back to game mode. We'll go ahead and navigate to our non Steam games and voila, GeForce Now is here and ready to go. Go ahead and hit play, and GeForce Now will open just like it would on any other device. Now, since this is effectively a web page, you'll probably need to configure your controls in order to navigate around. To do this, hit the Steam button and then hit Controller Settings and Edit Layout. In here, we're going to go down to the trackpads and then change our right trackpad behavior to be as mouse, and make sure our right trackpad click is left mouse click. And if you want, you can adjust the left trackpad to be a scroll wheel, although in my experience, it doesn't work too well in GeForce Now. Go ahead and back out until you're back in GeForce Now, and there you go. From here, you should see any and all your supported games under the My Library section, and to play one, just click play. GeForce Now will connect to the server and load up a machine for you to play on. Depending on which level of GeForce Now you have, you'll have different in-game options available to you like HDR, 4K resolution, and ray tracing, which is a great segue into plans and pricing. As you may have seen, GeForce Now has three tiers of service, free, performance, and ultimate. I'll link a table that compares all three, but for using it on a Steam Deck, the free tier should be enough for most people, although if you plan to play for more than an hour at a time, I recommend at least upgrading to the performance tier, which is $10 a month and removes the ads, as well as brings in support for ray tracing. And depending on when you're watching this video, Nvidia is currently doing a holiday promo where you can get the first month for only $5, which in my opinion is a great deal to give it a shot and see if it's something worth keeping for an extended period of time. Sadly, running GeForce Now on the Steam Deck does have some limitations at the moment. For instance, you can only stream up to 1080p 60fps regardless of which plan you have, so if you only plan to use it on your Steam Deck, I recommend sticking to the free plan or maybe the performance plan if you plan to use it relatively frequently. And that's it. 
how you can play games like Star Wars Outlaws or Alan Wake 2 right on your Steam Deck with much higher settings. And since you're streaming the game, your battery will last 10 times longer than it would if you were playing directly on the Steam Deck itself. Another benefit is that you're not actually downloading the games to your Steam Deck, which is nice since a lot of titles these days are over 100 gigs and is especially nice for those of you running on only 256 gigs of storage. I've also found that GeForce Now is a great way to not only play your favorite games in places like your bed, but also your TV, especially if you don't own a console. Just connect a wireless controller and now you've got access to almost any game you want right on your Steam Deck. Personally, it's nearly replaced my need for a high-end desktop PC, which I know is a little crazy, but I actually played Star Wars Outlaws entirely on GeForce Now and finished it and not once missed my desktop. If you're someone who has a low-end, mid-end PC or just doesn't have one at all, I think GeForce Now could be a great alternative that actually is pretty cost-effective in the long run. But I wanna know what you think down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And as always, make sure to subscribe, which you're gonna to wanna to do as our holiday gift guide is just around the corner. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.